Welcome to Star 5 Institute. This is another um, article uh, for the series Death by Porn. So, we got a young woman here that I mentioned in my previous video that she committed suicide because of a revenge porn. So, for those of you that do not know what is a revenge porn, uh, a revenge porn is... Um, when you make a sex tip with somebody and this person for one reason or the other um, left you and you guys have like a little scuffle a little um, um, relationship scuffle and you guys split and one of you most of the time is the man there's one time the women was involved and i'll explain that Emma, and I'm, I'm gonna see if i can do a quick article while i'm doing this so uh, the men can take the videos that they had with you as a woman um, when you guys were making um, your stuff together and then share it online so everybody can see it. So everyone can see that you're a whore, a bitch, or a freaking slut. And that's what they call a revenge porn. But it goes both ways too. There, there is an instance. Um, oh, somebody sent me a video on WhatsApp that uh, it was a a porn video that a woman made with her ex boyfriend, and she sent it. Um, she 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 had a beef with him, and she sent it to everybody because the man has a very small penis, and um. You know, everybody were making um, fun of the man and all that. So he ended up killing himself. So the news, the media don't don't know about that. And like one of the guys mentioned, the media has no intention of reporting on things like that. They won't because the adult industry, they are big sponsor of the media come on man they, they the adult industry is the media they may not be the news media but they are the media they pay the news to to they pay the media and the news hollywood to glorify this type of uh, behavior women are supposed to be glamorous uh, um by uh, um degrading their body being whores and all that come on i will watch the whole kardashian business going on man she made a sex tape people people tend to to forget about those things they have a very um short um memory a very short attention span a lot of those people they that's how they got there that's how you got people talking about them remember that hall paris hilton back then with that sex tape most of, not even most all of those girls when you're watching them that's that's how they get there the filth you know so um let's let's dig to this right quick so we can do the other one while we're doing this all right um online abuse i can't take it anymore how revenge porn pushed a spanish woman to suicide so you know she died <coughs> excuse me co-workers recall what victim veronica went through at the auto factory where she worked before deciding to take her own life so that's the gathering and memorial of veronica on may 31st my life is not your porn reads one of the sign um hajime villanueva or in french jam villanueva which means i love that new life that's what the man the name mean isabel valdez madrid 3rd June 2019, um, 1324, 1328. So this is like European. They put everything a little bit different that we do. It's June the 3rd, 2019, 1.28 p.m. Okay, so it makes me sick to think what a person must be thinking, must be must be going through to decide they are no longer want to go on leaving all right let me read this again it makes me sick to think what a person must be going through to decide they are no longer want to go on leaving 
says a worker at the Madrid factory of Iveco, the Italian commercial vehicle manufacturer. Was there nobody to tell her that it would be all right to take this thing out of the situation? Was she really that alone, he wonders? Okay, so I am uh, assuming this is one of the video. No, no, that's not it. He is talking about Veronica, a 32-year-old factory employee and mother of two young children who killed herself on May the 25th inside her home in Alcala de Hernández. The I Henares, Henares, in the northeast of the Madrid region, she had been under pressure for more than a month after colleagues began sharing intimate videos of her. At first, a group of around 20 had access to the images. This later ballooned to more than 200. The company employs around 2,500 people at its Madrid um, factory. So what had happened here, so her co-workers, um, over there in Europe, they call them colleagues. So a co-worker find a video of her, um, you know, she was a porn video of her. So they start sharing it and um, they start talking about her behind her back. And you know, women are very emotional. Okay. If you said anything behind their back, they're going to take it to the extreme. So she did not like this. Was there nobody to tell her that it would be all right? Co-worker of the victim. Investigators are still trying to determine who sent the material out of the first place. Although the prime suspect is a former boyfriend, which which is always is. It's it's always like a boyfriend girlfriend thing. The videos were made five years ago, so she was like 27 when the video was made. Okay. So before Veronica get married, so she was a married woman. Like, damn. It wasn't even the first time it happened. Those same files made the rounds a few years ago, but Veronica managed to put a stop to it then, said three co-workers. So this is this was not the first time um, this thing had happened. So she she stopped it the first time, but you know, second time is I guess second time is the charm instead of the third time. But this time she couldn't stop it. For 10 days, the factory corridors echoed with laughter and people come up to Veronica to check for themselves that she was the woman in the video. So it's it's kind of like, it's, it's like a form of bully. You know, they would go check with her and say, hey, is that really you? Do you really do these things? You know, and there is a story that one of those girls... And uh, she was doing, she, she, they, they saw the video of her doing that and she was a high schooler and uh, they were walk up to her and ask her, Hey man, you know, can we um, do this together and stuff? She said, no, that was years ago and all that. And then they pressure her, pressure her until she killed herself. So... I think that nobody real nobody really realized the gravity of what was happening. It was viewed as a joke, says one coworker. <laughs> Say no joke, man. Say no joke to mess with somebody's life like that. But for Veronica, it was a period of unrelenting humiliation and anguish. One employee remember hearing her saying out loud on one occasion, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> It's one word you don't want women to say. So that's the factory where she were, she was working. You see, that's the thing. People are at work. You're supposed to be working. But they are there watching filth, man. They are there watching porn. You have no idea the amount of porn people are watching at work. There is one study that says people watch more porn at work than at home. Because... When they spend more time at, at work than at home. When they get home, they get tired. They just go take a shower, eat, go to sleep. But when they're at work, they are relaxed. They talk. They got time. And that's when you want to watch things. So, you know, you're supposed to be working. But that thing is like, it's 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 an invisible uh, murder, an invisible demon. So, 
things got worse. Her sister-in-law found out than her own husband, with whom she reportedly had an argument the day before her death. Probably the man says something to her, says something, you you freaking whore. That's why there's a video uh, you know, circulated with you performing this and this and that. So that's what happened. Probably. I'm not saying that's exactly what happened, but there's a possibility for that. On May the 23rd, at a meeting with the heads of human resources, Veronica explained the situation and provided a name. The reply was that this was a personal matter. According to a lawyer who works for the labor union, CCOO, really? Soon after, she was offered a transfer to a different section or a period of sick leave. The union says this was not enough and that they went to see her on Friday with a formal complaint to file before the company, but she had already gone home. On Saturday, she was dead. Probes. Police and prosecutors. So they were trying to work a deal with her, but hey, she killed herself. Police and prosecutors are investigating the case, and uh, a court in Alcala de Naraes has launched its own probe after the victim. Okay. After the victim father took legal action. Meanwhile, the Spanish data. Protection Agency is investigating whether there was a breach of privacy laws and CCOO said it would have taken the matter up with work inspection over violation of gender equality legislation and occupational housing prevention laws. All of this are bullcrap, man. An ex-boyfriend of Veronica's who had been targeted by the police walked into a civil guard station in Mejorada del Campo on Thursday to provide testimony, but he denied being the person who sent out the sensitive material. He was let go, and the judge is ass assessing whether to summon him to a hearing. I think that nobody really realized the gravity of what was happening. One of, the co one of Veronica co-workers at uh, Iveco. But the man whose name Veronica mentioned to human resources was someone else. It was someone who worked with her at Evico. One Friday, a company memo said that Evico could, would be launching an internal investigation with someone from the outside and ask for cooperation. Hmm. Since the Monday after the suicide, a group of employees has been con congregating, congregating, uh, outside the front door. I mean, okay. Since Monday after the suicide, a group of employees has been assembled um, as outside the front door to show their dismay and to ask that people refrain from criminalizing the entire staff. So a lot of people were not happy because they were like trying to say that they did this, they caused her death. When in fact, you know, that goddamn filth did. Now, a lot of people will say, well, you know, um, uh, this is our own fault or somebody else's fault. Duh, this is, you have to stay away with this thing. You have to re resist the temptation of filming, of making it. The reason those people did that is because they watch somebody did it. They watch it all the time online. It doesn't mean anything to them. They think it's something that is um, normal to do. That's why they did it. And then this is the result. That's why I'm making those videos, okay? Don't shoot yourself or somebody, your friend or somebody to get together doing this and then send it to people, all right? You got like guys that inviting girls over for a little party and stuff. They get them drunk. They shoot the porn. They rape her and then they upload it online. You know why they do this? Because they got like rip porn. They watch it. They think it's fun. They think it's funny. They think they, if they do it, they're going to be glorified too, which the media does, which they does. Okay, we are not guilty and we are not our accomplices. What a group of 20 workers, mostly male, and a note sent to news agencies. Feminist group in Madrid staged protest at Plaza de los Cubos with sign reading accomplices. <laughs> Asked who these accomplices are, the reply by one reposter was, whoever seen it, 
whoever shared it, whoever saw it and did nothing, and whoever knew about it and also did nothing. Those people are the accomplices. That's that's what she meant. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I don't want to go down there because last time I was going down there, there, there was some porn in there. <laughs> there was some porn in there. So, anyway, guys, that's what happened, man. Revenge porn. So, you know, don't don't make any revenge porn. Don't watch it. Don't make this thing. Live a clean life because this thing can literally kill you. These women died, you know, because... Of the oh, I forgot to take uh, um the other um porn right quick. Uh, let me see if I can get this out of the way. Uh, oh no, uh, I think I already. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yes, I had her. What they they have on Netflix now? Okay, that's the girl, right? She she committed suicide. Beautiful girls. Like beautiful young women, right? Uh, please don't send me to no porn. That's her. Don't send me to no porn. Okay, beautiful young women. That's the other girl. Okay, so let's read the, the Wikipedia right quick. Um, Tiziana Anunziata Cantone, named subsequently illegally changed to... Tiziana Giglio, um, okay, she was an Italian woman who committed suicide after being victim of revenge porn by her ex-boyfriend. In a bid to make her ex-boyfriend jealous, she sent videos of herself engaging in consensual sex act with a new boyfriend to several people, including her ex-boyfriend via the WhatsApp messaging services. Again, WhatsApp. Her ex-boyfriend subsequently uploaded the video to public internet sites in early 2015. One such video went viral due to, to her, due to her reaction with the words, you are filming? Good. In Italian, stai facendo un video? Bravo. When being filmed, performing fellatio in front of a car. The phrase appeared on t-shirts, smartphone cases, and other paraphernalia. She fought a legal case over the right to to be forgotten, which led to the video being removed from numerous EU websites. However, she was also ordered to pay 20 G's. Whoa, the who did me? All right. 20,000 euros in legal costs. She legally changed her name and moved to a new city in attempts to avoid the publicity generated by the videos. She hung herself. On September 13th, 2016, her mother Maria Teresa Giglio still fight to remove the video from the internet. So, but this is kind of like her. She sent it to her boyfriend, um, um, to her ex to make him jealous. But you know, he published it, and then this happened. Okay, this happened. So. Guys, be careful out there, man. Be careful. Don't do things like that. So that's why was, that was the woman. She's the one that was trying to make the dude jealous. But um, this happened. This happened. There was another story. Um, there was a dude. He, he met a beautiful young woman like this. but And he was having sex with her. And she was filming it. She was filming the whole action and all that. So the man went and, and boast about like he, he messed, you know, with this girl. And then the girl posted a video online, the video of her and the man doing the act. And it turned out that the girl wasn't a girl at all. It was a trainee. And then he showed his penis. He, he told the man that he tricked him. He said he he does that all the time, going to the club and have sex with a uh, um, man. He, he can change his face to any woman that he wants. He has the money, and the man commits suicide. So, yeah, that thing would kill you. There's another boy, a Brazilian boy in, in Brazil. He was having sex with a, um, a, a girl. The girl was filming so she can show her friend. And then she, she she did it, and it was sent to WhatsApp all over the world. And then two couple of days later, the boy got kidnapped, and then they tie both of his hands behind his back. They put a shotgun in his head and blow his head off. 
the video was all over the internet so be safe out there all right peace and blessing honor and respect to all